I'm going to start this one using the large hike and just clear water all over the pager, pike, paper. Stops it from uh, going all crinkly, just stretches evenly then. Just get some nice soft edges in the sky. Let's have a bit of raw sienna, blizzarding crimson. I'm just going to work that down, down the page, just mix it all up on the paper. Let's just see how it turns out. Into the bottom, a bit more on this side, and then introduce a bit of uh, ultramarine. Papers, paints are uh, drying on the brush slightly. Same three colours. Let's just try and uh, what else should we use? Add a bit of bit of light red in there. A bit of light red and ultramarine. Ultramarine. Right, let's put some mountains in the background. So, still got all the colours on the brush. Again, sort of predominantly towards blue, and then we've got sort of a big one up there. Big one going up there. And a bit of green. Just clean that a little bit. A bit more green, eh? paper stretched a little bit so I'm just going to pull it tight. I'm going to fix it on this side just so it's nice and flat again to work with. And then the hands are coming down, coming down this side. Just dipping the belly tips in just to get back to that chisel edge again. Just try and define where the sort of land meets the water. Just dabbing at these shoreline bits. You can even just take a piece of card if you like, just a few little rocks even there. Let's move over to the other side. I'm trying to bring this down low, I don't want to have the same sort of height up the paper. Let's just bring this one a bit, more, a bit further down. Burnt umber, ultramarine, nice and dark. Just dipping the tips in just to loosen the paint, just so that I can then dab these little bits there. Just where the water meets the, the, meets the land. Again, just a piece of card, a 
box. A few smaller ones going up the hill. Obviously, they get smaller and smaller the further they go away from you. That'll do. Again, a little bit. That's nice and flat again, and then sort of land the on just down here somewhere, a bit darker, a bit of water. Just giving it that awesome rain. Could do with a bit more on the pallet, but I'll do that later. And sort of down here somewhere. The flames cry to get really nice and dark. Uh, maybe a few more rocks. Few grass as well, just flick it up like that as well if you want to do a few grass. Just define these water's edge bits. And uh, I think I'll leave it at that for now. Just pop my signature. My name in the corner using the rigger. Let's have a closer look at it, see what it looks like close up. So this is our finished painting. We started with the sky, try to sort of darken the edges just to create this lighter area. It sort of continues through the painting down into the river and through into the foreground. Furthest mountain put in using the same sky colours. Hit and miss with the painted suggest things on the hillside here. And then I had to get a really dark mix just to get the contrast, the, the profile of the hill here against the sky. So it stood out. Used a bit of green into the uh, sort of middle ground, and again, sort of hit and miss, leaving these white areas of the unpainted sections just to suggest various things happening there. A lot left to the imagination, actually. A lot of scraping out with the card here to sort of, uh, suggest these rocks by the water's edge. A few more going up the hill, getting smaller and smaller as they go away from us. And then you can just use the corner of the card just to flick up, suggest a few grasses in amongst these rocks here in the foreground. Well thanks for watching, I hope you like that. Keep practicing, any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.